In July 1976, attendees of the American Legion Convention at the Bellevue Stratford Hotel in Philadelphia were struck by a mysterious illness that led to 221 infections and 34 deaths. This disease, later identified as Legionellosis or Legionnaire's disease, was caused by the previously unknown bacterium Legionella pneumophila. The outbreak remains a significant event in public health due to the confusion around its cause and the insights gained into disease prevention and control. The primary culprit behind the outbreak was the bacterium Legionella pneumophila, which was unknown to science until after the events at the Bellevue Stratford Hotel. It took several months of determined investigation by health researchers to isolate the bacterium from the lung tissue of deceased patients. The mode of transmission of the disease was through the inhalation of aerosols contaminated with the bacteria, emanating from the hotel's air conditioning system. This system, which had issues with maintenance and provided an ideal environment for the bacteria to grow, played a critical role in the spread of the disease. The bacteria thrived in the warm, stagnant water of the air conditioning system's cooling towers that were not properly maintained. The convention attracted primarily older adults, a demographic particularly vulnerable to severe infections due to generally weaker immune systems. The centralized air conditioning system facilitated widespread exposure to the contaminated aerosols in various parts of the hotel, including convention spaces and guest rooms. The high concentration of Legionella in the system and the constant circulation of air meant that exposure was widespread among the hotel guests. Furthermore, the lack of awareness about Legionella as a pathogenic agent delayed the initial public health response, which allowed the disease to spread more extensively. The symptoms were initially presumed to be related to more common illnesses like influenza, which led to misdiagnosis and ineffective initial treatments. The 1976 outbreak of Legionnaire's disease underlined the importance of better diagnostic techniques and surveillance in preventing similar public health crises. It also led to improved regulations and maintenance practices for public water and air conditioning systems, showcasing a pivotal moment in epidemiology and public health history. The 1976 outbreak of Legionnaire's disease in Philadelphia was a severe public health crisis, illustrating the potential for extensive harm when a new pathogen emerges in a susceptible population. Here's a closer look at the extent of the damage and infections caused by the outbreak, as well as how such an infection could have been prevented. The outbreak affected 221 attendees of the American Legion Convention, with a notable fatality rate. 34 people died as a result of their infections. The disease primarily manifested as a severe form of pneumonia, with symptoms including cough, fever, chills, and muscle aches, which were initially confused with those of influenza or other respiratory illnesses. The rapid spread and high fatality rate caused panic and garnered significant media attention, putting pressure on public health officials to quickly identify the source and nature of the outbreak. The primary prevention strategy for controlling Legionnaire's disease involves proper maintenance and management of water systems in buildings, especially cooling towers and air conditioning systems. Regular cleaning, disinfection, and maintenance to prevent the growth of Legionella bacteria are crucial. In the case of the 1976 outbreak, more stringent maintenance protocols for the hotel's air conditioning system could have prevented the growth and spread of the bacteria. Implementing early detection systems to monitor the presence of Legionella bacteria in water systems can also be an effective preventive measure. Regular testing and monitoring could alert facility managers to the presence of the bacteria before they reach levels capable of causing disease. Enhancing public health awareness about the signs and symptoms of Legionnaire's disease and the conditions that favor the growth of Legionella bacteria is vital. In 1976, the delayed response was partly due to the lack of knowledge about the disease. Improved education and training for public health officials and healthcare providers can lead to quicker identification and response to outbreaks, potentially saving lives. Following the 1976 outbreak, guidelines and regulations concerning the maintenance of water systems in large buildings have been established and tightened. These guidelines are designed to ensure that water systems are not conducive to the growth of Legionella. Adherence to these regulations is essential for prevention. The design and engineering of building water systems also play a critical role in preventing Legionnaire's disease. 
ensuring that systems are designed to avoid stagnant water and maintain water at temperatures either too high or too low for Legionella to thrive is a preventive approach that could have mitigated the risk during the 1976 outbreak. Legionnaire's disease, identified following the 1976 outbreak in Philadelphia, continues to be a health concern globally. This disease is caused by the Legionella bacteria, which thrive in water systems and can lead to severe pneumonia-like symptoms. The disease's prevalence has increased over the years, partly due to better diagnostic techniques and greater awareness among healthcare professionals, although many cases may still be undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. Legionnaire's disease is reported worldwide, often linked to contaminated water systems in hotels, hospitals, and large office buildings. It predominantly affects older adults, smokers, and individuals with compromised immune systems or chronic diseases. The risk of infection is notably higher in environments with complex water systems where the bacteria can grow, such as in cooling towers and large plumbing systems. Effective water system management is the cornerstone of preventing Legionnaire's disease. Regular maintenance, including systematic cleaning and disinfection of water systems, is vital. It is also important to control water temperatures, keeping them either high enough or low enough to discourage bacterial growth. Monitoring and testing play a critical role in prevention. Establishing routine testing for Legionella and employing rapid detection methods can provide early warnings and prevent potential outbreaks. Surveillance programs, especially in buildings at higher risk, can help in timely detection and management of water systems. Public health measures such as increasing awareness about the disease among healthcare providers, building managers, and the general public are crucial. Educating these stakeholders about the symptoms, risk factors, and prevention methods can significantly reduce the incidence of the disease. Guidelines and regulations must be rigorously followed to ensure water systems are managed according to the best practices laid out by health authorities. Local and international guidelines provide frameworks for managing the risk of Legionnaire's disease. Engineering controls including the design of water systems to minimize risks, and implementing upgrades such as improved filtration, UV treatment, and chemical disinfection systems are effective at reducing the risk of Legionella colonization. Clinical management involves the early diagnosis and prompt treatment of Legionnaire's disease. Recognizing the disease early and treating it with the appropriate antibiotics, such as fluoroquinolones or macrolides, is essential for reducing complications and fatalities. Legionnaire's disease remains a significant public health challenge. Preventing outbreaks requires a comprehensive approach that combines rigorous management of water systems, vigilant monitoring, public education, strict adherence to guidelines, and careful clinical management. Ongoing research and vigilance are crucial to further understand and control this potentially lethal disease.